Hello everybody and welcome to hole number one, part four of the drum or links in the Celtic Cup tournament the video sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. So let's go. Here we're playing from the second tee, which is tour number 10 uh, on the club Oceania. And here we're going to play with a power two ball and I would say play with a power three ball if you don't want to aim this far back as I'm doing here. Power three ball you can aim further up. And especially if you do have headwind or crosswind, I would say without any tailwind, then you play with a power three ball to give yourself the distance, being able to play on the right side. 10% extra for the drive, and I'm playing this one very safe, very simple to get my ball to bounce on the fairway, getting it up there as far as possible, giving myself an opportunity to go with my short iron from distance. There is going to be two ways to play the approach here. It all depends on how far you will drive, uh, you will go with your driver. It's either going to be like you can see our opponent is having here, and it's going to be the same as we are having, that we're basically approaching the pin directly by aiming on the fairway before the green or just on the green. If we don't have a tailwind for the drive, we most likely won't be reaching this far, so then we will have to bounce before the water, over the water, to get the ball to roll towards the pin. There it's very important that you do have a short iron that give you at least 5 bars of topspin, because otherwise you will go short. So really pack your bag based on, the, when it comes to tournament play, based on the tournament wind, and in tour play, you will try to at least play yourself with the amount of topspin that you do have with the thorn. Nothing extra here for the second shot. And the thing that I try here is to go with a max backspin shot, seeing if we can get that one working in a proper way. We also need to have in mind using a max backspin shot like this is that we are going to have the bounces in a very... It's not going to be in a good way for us. It's very hard to read with max backspin. So I would prefer to just bounce ourselves towards the pin. But in this example, I'm just trying this way out. It is a good way to making an eagle though. And I do believe we're going to see a decent amount of eagles made on this one on tour play, but also tournament play. If you do want to get the text guides, you sign up on Patreon. Link in the video description down below. Also, visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash content. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Hit thumbs up. Thank you so much. And good luck in the tournament.